it's in the discipline side, is that still there? Yes, it is. Um, but the, we don't learn it in the, in the way we used to learn it with all the verbs and the chanting in Sydney Rose. It's, it's very much, um, we try to make it fun for the children so they want to learn because it's language is, is, is like a, a very academic subject but we like all the children here to be involved and to feel successful so we try to make it fun and easy for them. Um, so, so when they get into year 10, year 11 certificate years, how is, is it very much much more sober disciplined approach? Not really, because all the all the fun stuff, the games and songs, it all helps them learn. It's all sort of repetitive, um, helps the language go in their head. So the stuff they've learned in seven, eight, nine, we, we do carry on the same approach into the into years ten and eleven as well. Um, a lot of the speaking exam is quite pre-prepared, so we prepare them all the way through into years seven to eleven um, for the, for that exam in the end. Um, with lots of assessment for learning, you know, they they prepare an answer and we tell them how to improve it for the final exam in the end. But we can do that in fun ways as well. We play games with our answers, etc. So... And is it possible to be good at the language but not good at translating it onto paper? Yes, I think um, they're... Yeah, they, they learn, sometimes the lower ability would learn more, um, learn the grammar as, as vocab items rather than knowing all the intrinsic ins and outs and we don't like to talk sometimes about um, auxiliary verbs and nominative accusative because it might confuse them so we try to keep it very simple for them. So they could be quite good at speaking but maybe, maybe a bit weaker in their writing or not so, you know, they don't know the, the ins and outs but I think you need to sometimes, that's not how um, we learn our language. We learn it as we pick it up, so we sometimes try to make it like that. There is an argument that French seems to predominate still at schools, and yet with you know, languages such as Spanish, um, many, many countries speak <coughs> Spanish, others is indeed, you look at languages like Gujarati or indeed Chinese and oh, Mandarin. Is there a capacity at all in that game of Is there a capacity? Um, for Spanish, there would be. Um, it's just staffing, really, just finding the right... We've got quite a stable staff who do French and German. We've got very, very good German teachers here at the moment, and French, so we're just... We're very stable. It's very difficult to, to suddenly change a language. I mean, changing a lot of staffing, so that's probably why we haven't done it so far. And at the speaking exam, are there different techniques for preparing for an exam like that? Um, a lot of it is pre-prepared, so um, they, from Year 7, they, we give them tasks all the time that mirror the exam at the, in, in Year 11 or Year 9, because some of them do it early. Um, and we, again, we play games with the answers to help them. They peer assess each other, so they might prepare an answer and, and they, their partner will say, oh, that's a C grade or a B grade or an A grade. Obviously, the longer the answer, the, the higher the grade. Um, and... They also have to do a presentation uh, on a topic of their choice, so um, they might prepare something and then the teacher could record it for them on their phone so they can keep playing it back and learning it for the exams. So that's another way they get, they get good marks. They do get really good marks here at Gables Hall in their speak. What is it would you say you enjoy most about learning languages? Um, when you go to like, other countries that you've learned about, you can like, speak that language. And do you think that's important? Yeah. Why do you think that's important? Um, so you can like uh, meet new people, and, like, make friends with others. Can you tell me what languages you're learning? Uh, French at the moment. Just. And what do you think of French? Uh, it's fun because like we don't just like do like loads of book work. We just we play games to make it easier. What is it you enjoy about it? Um, I think that. It is about like as Billy said, like um, when you go to other countries that you can make new friends and everything. But um, like if um, like you go to another country, say like Spain or somewhere, and you can't speak their language and they know French, you can speak to them in French instead of Spanish. Do you, th do you think it's important that people from England learn more languages? Uh, yeah, because like if if you don't, you like. You can only have friends that live in like your country instead of friends all over the world. And do you agree that um, is it Billy? Billy saying that um, you enjoy learning the subject because it's not just about learning from a book. Um, yeah, because I like playing games with our teacher. 
What do you mean when you say playing games? Well, it's like word games, like playing games so that you get to learn new vocab. Billy, how do you know if you're getting better at the subject? Because um, our teacher always like praises us if we're doing well. And, and what about the idea that um, do you get graded in, in grades or levels or anything like that? Yeah, um, we go from... Well, when you start at lower school, you go from like one and then two and you gradually work up to like when you're here, you get like fives and... Okay, so where are you at the moment? Um, well, we're around 5C, uh, 4A, and that's quite high for us because like, um, we're a middle set and middle sets don't usually, well, <laughs> I don't really know, but they're, we're high. <laughs> So if you were dropped into Paris right now, okay, <laughs> what do you think you could say in French? What do you think you could go into a shop or a hotel or, or speak to people? Where do you think you could survive? Uh, loads of places really. Um, I could talk to people and um, talk about where I live and things like that. Gentlemen, could you survive in Paris right now? Yeah. How? What would you be able to say? Or where? Where do you think? Would you be able to book a room in a hotel? Or, yeah. or? yeah, yeah, because um, um, oh, <laughs> uh, and like you could ask where shops are because we know like what shops are called, and we can say.